Tens of thousands of cell phones are working again after AT&T's network suffered widespread outages across the country today. Many had no signal for hours and couldn't text or call. Fox 11 Kennedy Hayes is live in Denver. Kennedy, who did this affect? Christine, it hit AT&T users across the country. Now, Verizon and T-Mobile say their networks were not affected, though some of their customers had trouble contacting AT&T phones. Now, no word yet on what caused this, but defense officials tell us they have no indication this was a cyber attack. And in the most recent statement from AT&T, a spokesperson says, quote, we have restored wireless service to all our affected customers. We sincerely apologize to them, and keeping our customers connected remains our top priority and we are taking steps to ensure our customers do not experience this again in the future. According to outage tracker down detector, customers in at least nine major cities reported AT&T outages this morning, including Los Angeles, Dallas, Chicago, Atlanta, and Miami. The problem started popping up around 3.30 ET, and I spoke to a cybersecurity expert about how tech companies investigate these issues. There's so many things that can cause a problem like this, whether it's a hardware issue or, you know, something with, you know, changing software or making some kind of update. When you think of something as critical to daily life and life safety as the cellular networks and systems, you know, you can certainly be sure that people are working very hard on this. Down Detector says at the height of the outages, around 11 a.m., there were about 74,000 outages. Most phone users had issues with texting and calling on their mobile phones, but some also had trouble with their home phones and Internet. Now, even if your cell phone work network was not working, you are able to make calls on Wi-Fi, and that's a feature you'd be able to find in your settings. In Denver, Kennedy Hayes, Fox 11 News. Kennedy, thank you.